Hi, this is Lucy, and today I am on Lauren, my lowest level character, to show you a build I actually built um, a few months ago for the Shop Till You Drop Challenge. I just built it as something fun to do because, as you've probably guessed by now, I enjoy building in Fallout 76. If you don't recognise the locale, today we are in Flatwoods, just up the road from the Green Country Lodge Motel. I will show you on the map. Unfortunately, the, the camp icon is kind of partially obscured by the image on the map, and some people have had a problem finding my camp. <laughs> but I can't do anything about that. So, this is the Lapin Latte Cafe, or Lapin Latte, which is kind of a pun, maybe? So I originally built this with only four foundations as per the brief, but I have rebuilt it and um, extended it slightly at the back to include a workshop. It is very small and it has lots of rabbits. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a competition by, you know, come to the camp and count the rabbits or something. Although I don't actually know how many there are, so maybe I should double check that first. So there is limited seating inside because obviously it's very small. I got the idea for the cakes from uh, Reasonable Madness. I just thought that was such an adorable idea. These are actually stools. It was a pain. I'm not going to show you how to do this because it took me four hours because it was complicated by the um, merge <laughs> but they are on a stash box on a rug on a conduit and i had to flame a trap the conduit because because this is so tall and it goes through the foundation it would not go through a flame a trapped stash box so i had to flame a trap a conduit to get these in here but you know <laughs> And I had to I had to enlist Vlad's help. We've we've eventually got it done. It's also going to depend on how high your foundations are, and these are fairly low here, which also complicated matters. So it is quite cute. I did want to put a sink on the counter, but because of the window I couldn't move this anywhere else, so I decided to just have a free place sink. I did make use of the chalkboard letters and this is a blackboard on top of the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a pub mirror, which I thought was a nice touch. So yeah, I do like it. I mean, well, that's why I rebuilt it. <laughs> so around the back, we have a small workshop area. And we have a little apartment upstairs for the owner. We do have some triage, unfortunately. If you're going to build this, this is probably the worst location to build it. It was an absolute pain, but I persevered. So very small and quite girly and Yes, more rabbits. So, I will now show you how to build it. So, we are going to start with foundations. And I'm going to line my foundation up with the road. Buildings tend to sit square against roads if they're on roadways, so I usually try and line up using the line on the road. Though it's a bit tricky here because we don't have a lot of line. Then I am going to place one, two, three. 
take this one up. And then another three. And one on the back here. If you have any bits of grass or anything sticking through, then by all means use confetti. Now this first section is going to be the deck. These foundations are a little higher than I would like at the front, but because this slopes away at the back, we're kind of stuck with that. So This is the inside of the cafe, and this is the deck. Obviously, use whatever things you want. Part of this is going to be double walled. I tend to use the barn set for double walling. Because we will be flame trapping kitchen counters here, I'm not going to put these two walls on for now. But we can put the walls on upstairs, which we will be double walling. And because we are going to have a slope, we need to use the brick. triangles like so. The easiest way to get up there to flame a trap these is to put a roof on which we'll be putting on anyway and then grab a stash box and put a flame a trap on top of it. Then flame a trap these upper walls. The easiest thing really is to just go to your camp widget and repair all. And you now have this part of the build complete. To do the counters and the glass window, you will need one of these types of counters. I did use the Western set. Start with the corner piece. If you want to know where join lines are, just change the floor up temporarily and line up the 
this on the edge of this outer foundation. Making sure you have it going in the right direction. <laughs> Can be a pain to get these straight, so you may need to double check. This last one will not go through this, and you can't re remove this second wall, so the best thing to do is stick a roof on upstairs. Right, one more of these. Check if it's straight and we also want to come this way like so. Now we need to double back on ourselves so get another end piece like this and snap it on and another one. We will be removing these. Then get the full one and go down like so. we can remove these end pieces and there are various different ways of doing this I'm just trying to do the easiest way replicate that on this side you will find you have a little gap here with some finagling sometimes it doesn't want to go in you can put one of the end pieces in. You now have this complete double counter. So now, you're going to love this, you need to destroy all of these. It will mean having to move your flame trap about quite a bit. Once you've flame trapped all of them, come out of build mode, build mode to check that they are all gone. Right. For the front, we are going to use a glass wall, like so. We are going to put a double wall in here like this and put your double wall back at the front and a double wall on the end. Now you will find that you are too close to the tree to get another foundation in so put a doorway in a door in, convert the doorway to a plain wall, remove it, put a doorway in the opposite way and another wall, you now have a double wall. We can add another double wall on the end, it will go over because that's a double wall. We need a log cabin doorway at the top. I used a log cabin window. For the roof, I would have liked to have used the green roofs on top, but we need a piece like this and this only comes in the original or there was a I don't think I've seen this for years there was a re black reskin of the original like that so whichever way you want to put it I can't remember which way I put it 
and I will convert. I've got a jetpack, work. I will convert this roof to the same color. We now need to add a doorway in here. Now, we have one roof here, so we are going to add another roof like so. Now you will find that sometimes doors will not go in. If you have that problem, then just add another roof the other side like so. But this one has actually gone in just to, you know, be awkward. <laughs> right. I'm going to open this door if we can. Now, I need to put a catwalk on here for the stairs. We're going to use a corner one like this. Now, you might find it's not going to go in. And the reason is, is this roof. So, take it off. Put the catwalk on. You can now put your roof back. And we can attach a staircase to here. Now it is trying to snap to this floor so we're going to move this floor out of the way temporarily. Just put it anywhere. The stair will now snap to the catwalk. You can put your floor back. So simply go around and convert these to walls rather than doorways. No, we want that one to be a doorway, otherwise we won't get in. Silly Lucy. Add wallpaper. It's very odd because I used to hate this yellow, but I actually really like it now. It's weird. So. Whichever wallpaper you want. You can obviously do the inside upstairs. getting dark. Go to your camp widget. Repair all. Your kitchen counters should now all be completely fixed. I'll turn that floor back. Oops. I used the Right. <laughs> I use the barbed wire fences. They won't go on because I repaired this. You can flame. When I built this, I flame a trap this so many times. I thought I'd done everything. Obviously, I haven't. So, so if you do this, just get your flame a trap out again and. Just flame a trap as much as you have to. <laughs> Put your fences on. And at the back. Add some stairs. Repair all again. If you want a window at the top, just convert this to whatever set you like. 
you can use the round window or one of the little arch windows or whatever you fancy really so decorate to your heart's content i think that covers everything if you are going to add a cooker or anything then obviously you will be flame trapping more here if you want to add the display here put it in before you repair these obviously add a fancy doorway whatever you like i hope you like the build i hope you have fun with it let me know what you think in the comments below that's all from me today. Thank you for watching.